If you spend any part of your day on Twitter, and let's be honest, you do, then you should be smart about making it work for you and your career. Our next guest parlayed a chatty, friendly Twitter presence into the popular DKNY PR girl Twitter feed, which has amassed more than a half a million followers. Donna Karen, senior vice president of communications, Aliza Licht, is the author of a new book, Leave Your Mark. And she joins us now with social media tips. Aliza, it's so great to have you here. It's Thanks. great to be here, Tanya. Thank you. You know, it's incredible. You have such a presence, such a following. Do you remember those early tweets? Do you look back on those early tweets? I do. And I even remember a lot of the people who tweeted me back then. And what was it that really sort of lit the fire? What got you going? I think the real-time engagement, I really fed off the idea that people were just out there all over the world ready to respond. And I do think it's the biggest cocktail party in the world. And your book, Leave Your Mark, is all about, you know, killing it at your career and using social media to help. How do you do that? How can social media help us in our careers? First of all, it's free, right? So you can create and curate your presence in the vein that you want to. So pulling out the best facets of yourself and really highlighting what you want the outside world to see. I mean, to me, it's exhibit B right after your resume. And is it there a danger to having too much of a social media presence where people say, oh, I gotta turn this off? I think, you know, everything in moderation, nothing in excess. My rule of thumb is post when you have something to say. Mm -hmm. I don't do anything obligatory. I don't have a content calendar. I post when I feel like I have something to say. I don't think you can have too much of a presence, but I think you should watch what you say. Yes, be very careful. Now, what about hashtags? Some people, our producer included, get annoyed at the way people use hashtags. What's your take on the hashtag? Well, Tanya, I am sure I'm guilty of this because sometimes I know that the hashtag is an aggregator of content, but at the same time, sometimes to me, it's an emphasis point also. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hashtag hair wash day, for example. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, which I've used before. But I think, you know, I don't like when people do like 20 in a row, not that you have space for that on Twitter, but you see on Instagram when people do like 50 hashtags. Yes. I think, you know, if, if it makes sense, use it, if it makes the point stronger, but not too many. So can you break it down for us? Because now, you know, there's Instagram, there's Twitter, there's Tumblr. Which are the important ones right now and where do you see social media heading? I think if you ask any creative person, whether it be artist, photographer, what have you, Instagram is the number one platform for them. Mm -hmm. For journalists, I'm sure you would agree, and for people who love to communicate, Twitter. Yeah. I don't think there's any other platform where you can get real-time news or watch a sporting event or any sort of milestone that's happening in the world with everyone virtually at the same time. So I think Twitter, and then Tumblr is more I think it's your own library of content in the sense of, you know, your own blog, your own curation of things that inspire you. And so what advice would you give people that are trying to cultivate or curate a social media presence? How should they present themselves? I think you have to start with the goal. What is your goal? What is your purpose? Are you launching a business? Are you trying to create a name for yourself? Are you just there to have fun and be social? And then work backwards and look at your timeline and think about if, you're, if you were looking at your timeline and didn't know you, what would you come off thinking? Because people think about the posts in a single way and you should really think about them in totality when people are scrolling through what's the impression that's a good point and so have you ever gone back and deleted things um, I'm not a big deleter because mm -hmm. I do feel like the screenshot is more powerful so I think just be careful what you post <laughs> right. and just pretend the delete button doesn't exist um, but I do look back and sometimes I'm like oh too much of that right. not enough of that so I do consider that a lot and then you balance it out going I forward. try to all right Aliza thank you so much for all your advice and congratulations on Thank your you new book. Thank you so much, Tanya. It's a pleasure.